In this video we're going to talk about our new product on the website. We're really excited by it. We call it the Frame It. Uh, it is an instant uh, frame and canvas kit to allow you to print an image on a canvas and then frame it to look really professional at home at very very low cost and the effect is amazing. Keep watching and you'll see what I mean. All you need is right here in front of you a piece of canvas which is supplied uh, with, the, uh, with the kit. It comes in A4 and A3 plus. Uh, you'll see it on the website. The kit itself which comes flat and I'll show you what to do with it and an ordinary printer. Here is obviously an image that we printed in a minute and that's how it works. So we start with a blank um, template. This uh, comes with the kit. It has a self-adhesive carrier which you need to peel off. So you need to peel off the whole of the white uh, whole of this white cover. Okay, it's got various perforations so just keep peeling it away. And what you do is you take your A4 print this has been printed on a Kodak printer and it has a, a full bleed uh, capability so there are no, any, no white edges at all. If you have a slight white edge, it doesn't matter because most of it will, um, uh, will be folded away. So we position the paper in the, correct, in the correct place. The instructions are very clear. There's actually some perforations. I'm not sure you can see them on the video that guide you to the correct area. And we need to, uh, to make sure that the image is flat and you can do it this way as well. If you have a roller or some sort of a flat implement you can use it but just your fingers will do. Make sure that canvas is well adhered to the, to the kit. And now this is the first stage. The second stage, we've got these uh, corners here that we don't, we don't require and we need to cut them off. So just take either a Stanley knife or a pair of scissors and trim them again roughly away. You don't need to be that accurate. So here's the second stage. We've trimmed uh, the corners away. And now, if we turn it back to this side, we start folding, folding the canvas. So, there are fold marks already, you just need to follow them. Again, all these are very, they are very detailed instructions and uh, you can uh, watch this video again, obviously. You keep folding them away in, into the center, following the fold marks, which I think you can see on the video. When you get to this stage, you expose uh, the little tab here and uh, just create this box here and press the tab down. Okay, and we do the same all around. Expose the tab and you create a little box here. That little tab just sticks to the base to hold it all in position. Two tabs on the longer edge. And we're nearly ready. You can see the effect. Now we need to take care of these of these corners. And the final stage, now you go to this uh, situation where everything is folded away. You've got these uh, corners that we need to take care of. And what happens here is we, we open it out a little bit and with your fingers and you can use the blunt edge of your scissors as well just to push the corner in and make it nice and neat and tidy. And we do it all around. If your fingers are a little bit dinkier than mine, it's a little bit easier. Or as I said, you can, uh, you can fold them in and then just with a pair of scissors just push it in. Okay, and you get these corners that way, nicely folded in. You get these little uh, triangles supplied with the kit. 
peel them off and seal the corner. Do it in all four corners. So with this kit you get this backing uh, plate. This backing plate works in both ways. You can either um, fold it in if you're going to hang it and stick it inside this uh, cavity here to hide all the uh, all these folds. This will allow you then to to hang the uh, this frame on a wall because you'll be able to stick a nail in here and uh, and hang it. Or alternatively you can fit it this way and if you fit it this way you can then fold out one side of the uh, of this frame like so and it becomes frame that you can stand on the side of the table. Obviously if you have a portrait image you can stand it that way.